So we're going to add one more uh, cheetah drawing practice video. And I'm going to say this is for grades three through five. If you are um, in grades kindergarten through second and you want to try it, you may. It's just going to be a little bit more detailed. Um, so you may want to watch the practice video uh, part two before you try. Um, this would be part three. Okay. So I will share this with the um, three, um, third through fifth students through Schoology. But if you would like to try it and you're watching this on YouTube, and you are in grades K through two, you may also try. It's just gonna be a little bit more detailed. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna look at two different pictures that we shared in our visual. I'm going to look at uh, picture one, and I'm also gonna look at picture six. So I can change it just a little bit. I'm gonna be making it so the cheetah is actually facing in our direction instead of looking to the back like in uh, picture one. So again, we're still going to start with our largest shape first. So I'm gonna go ahead and look at the cheetah, I'm gonna start with kind of an oval shape, a little bit wider in the front, a little bit thinner, or a little bit closer together in the back, kind of like the shape of the, the center shape of the cheetah's, um, the center of the body, okay? Then we're going to add a line, a long line down for that front leg here, standing, and the foot kind of comes out like this, and we'll just add a little bit of an oval shape here, okay? For the other leg, you can't really see it because it's kind of behind that leg, so we're just going to add another line down and we're going to draw it next to it. Now for the back leg, so Cheetah has a really large back leg muscle and it actually does kind of have more of a curve line, it's not exactly a triangle, kind of a curve line here. And then it kind of curves back this way a little bit, okay? So you kind of have to look at the picture as well, look at that shape where the leg goes back and then it comes down in the front like right here, right about here. Okay, so two lines down, and then you're gonna put that paw right here. Okay, so a shape for the paw. You can erase right here where this all goes together into one large shape, okay? You can draw the back leg as well next to it, so you're gonna draw only part of it. You can draw where it's, it's kind of, I see part of it showing here, and then I'm going to draw this other line down where the other foot is stepping out this way, and then we have the other paw, which is kind of an oval shape, just like that, okay? Next, we're going to add where the neck is. The front of the neck, the front of the body kind of sticks out right here, and the neck kind of goes up like this. Now, because I said we are going to change it a little bit, a um, little bit different than the first picture, I'm going to go down to slide number six. So you can look at your visual with me. This is available to you in your school G folder. I am going to still make a circle shape for the head, but this time I'm going to make it so the cheetah is facing towards us. So I'm going to draw another oval shape inside of the circle shape for the snout. That's where like the nose and the mouth is. And then I'm going to make kind of a curve line. It's almost like a triangle, but it's a little bit more curved. So kind of like this for the nose, a line down, and then for the mouth going, so it's kind of like the letter W going up. And then the cheetah has a unique feature where we're going to add the eye. So a curve line, curve line, we're gonna put a circle here another curve line under it, kind of like a football shape. And then we're going to add these lines that kind of go down back to the mouth. And then they have little spots, the whiskers. Okay, now the cheetah has rounded ears, so we're gonna add those curved lines for the ears. Okay, we'll fade in the nose. And we also kind of have some Shading right about here for the top of the head. Then for the back, we're, I'm going to go back and I'm actually going to look at this slightly different. I think I'm going to choose to make the tail going up. So you can choose to make the tail go down like in the picture, but I think for this one, I'm actually going to choose to draw the tail kind of out this way. So I'm going to make two lines that go out from here and they go all the way to the end and then they curve around. It gets a little bit wider at the end, the cheetah's tail does. After you get all of those shapes, then it will be time to add your details. So once you're ready to add your details, I would erase where you have some of these shapes still going together. You can even erase some of this, okay? Then you're going to start adding details to your picture. Now again, you can choose to add color to this if you would like, or you can just use to choose, choose to add shading with your pencil, okay? So um, I think I'm gonna choose to add some color to this. I'm gonna try to match the color I, the best I can to this cheetah color. And I found kind of a, a yellowish gold color, so I'm gonna start with that. 
still not quite the right color, but it's the closest that I could find in my crayon, so I'm going to use that. And the shade I have kind of has some like white around the mouth, on the ears, on the side of the face. Now the top back part. Now the front near the neck has the first light in color, so I'm going to leave that without adding any of this color to it. The tail is kind of orange till you get to the end. The top of the back leg has this yellow orange color, or kind of a gold color. And then I'll find um, my black crayon for the spots. I'm also going to add where I see those, those lines that go down in the front of the face. The nose, I'm going to add over the nose, the ears. over the mouth and then I'm going to start adding where I see all of these spots smaller as I get closer to the bottom and a little bit more spread out near the belly and the neck. a little smaller around the face okay once you've done that then you can decide again how you want to do the background you could have them standing you could have them standing in like the tall grasses they could be in green grass they could be in the tan grass that um, helps them to get camouflage. So you could do a combination of both. So that can be your choice. And then you can save that still for if you ever want to add a cheetah to any of your pictures. Okay, so this would be part three of our cheetah drawing practice uh, per request of a student that requested the cheetah. Okay, I'll see you guys soon. Oh, and if you do create a drawing, please post it to your Art Share Media album in your Schoology folder, or you can uh, send me a message through Schoology. If you are K through two, if you would like to take a picture and post it to your Seesaw, I will do my best to start checking that. Um, and if I can tell it's definitely art, I will approve it. If it is not art, I will send it back to you since that is now an option in there. Okay, I'll see you soon.